Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to fold a trefoil knot. This is the design that is my current profile picture. In my last video I went over some practice exercises to learn how to fold each of the bends so you can get that down before trying to fold the whole thing. I'll link to that down below, I definitely recommend watching that one first. But this is folded from a long rectangle with a ratio of 5 to 52, so a good size to fold this from is 5 by 52 inches or centimeters or you could also use two and a half by 26 inches. But this one that I folded is from a 52 inch sheet. That's a really long sheet of paper, which can be difficult to find, but if you would like to fold one this size, the paper I found that worked was wrapping paper. I've also folded it from a long sheet of craft paper. I found an art store that had rolls of craft paper that were 36 inches wide and you could just pull it out and cut off any size you wanted and pay for it by the foot. Now 26 inches is a bit easier to find, same with 52 centimeters. Now you can fold it from smaller than that as well. This little one is folded from a one and a quarter inch by 13 inch sheet. The sheet I'm using in the video is a two and a half inch by 26 inch rectangle of elephant hide. Thicker paper like elephant hide is perfect for this one. Now the bends that are used in this are the same bends that are used in Toki Yen's design, the Umulius Rectangulum. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but I've also seen it called Impossible Rectangles or Magic Rings. Some of the bends are the exact same, but then some of them are done off-center, so they're a little bit more difficult to collapse, and then they have an extra flap that you need to tuck in at the end. But I went over all of this in the practice exercises, so go watch that video if you haven't. This design is a modification of an original design by Susan Williams. I was exploring different ideas using these bends and I started working on a trefoil knot and then just browsing online I came across her design. She designed hers using three sheets of paper and I really wanted it to be folded from one sheet so I just modified her design so it could be folded from one long rectangle. But I'll link to her original design down below. I'll also have a link to the crease pattern down below, as well as all the measurements listed out for where each of the creases are located. I'll have them listed out for a sheet that's 52 inches or centimeters, as well as one that's 26 inches or centimeters. But that should be everything you need to know to get started, so let's get down to folding. Now we're going to start with the shorter creases that run widthwise along the paper. So I'm going to do this by measuring. So I'll get my measuring tape and line it up with the paper. Now I'm just going to make a small pencil mark right on the edge of the paper for each of these, just to mark where the crease is going to be. Now I'm doing this by marking the side of the paper that will end up on the inside, so any of these marks that I make won't be visible. I'm still going to erase them, but I'm doing it on the side that's not going to be visible in the final model. Again, I have all of these measurements listed out in the description down below. I have them listed out for a sheet that's 5 by 52 inches or centimeters. Then I also have it listed out for one that's 2.5 by 26 inches or centimeters. My paper is 26 inches long and 2.5 and inches wide, so I'm using the measurements for that. Now I have each of those creases marked, so I'm going to get the measuring tape out of the way. And we can make valley folds on the two creases that are furthest to the end. Now we can unfold both of those. Next we're going to turn the paper over. 
Now we're going to make all the rest of those creases. To do this, we'll just fold it over until you can see the pencil mark on the side. And then start the crease right from where the mark is. And just make sure both of the edges line up with the edges underneath. And then crease it down. And then you can unfold and we'll just do that with every one of those pencil marks all the way down. Now I have every one of those creases in place and we can turn this back over. Now, even though I know this side of the paper is going to end up on the inside, I still like to erase the pencil marks. Next, we're gonna be folding this into fifths. And to use that, I'm gonna use the little template that I have made here, just like I did in the practice video. This is just a square that's the same width as the paper I have, and then I just folded that into fifths. I just put this over the paper and make sure it's nice and flush against the edge. And then fold up to this crease. Slide it down, fold up again, and do that all the way down the paper. Then we fold the bottom edge up to that crease we just made. Then we'll take the top edge and fold it down to that edge we just made. And then fold the top edge down to that crease we just made. And then unfold both of those. Next, we're gonna start folding all the different creases for the bends. These are the two different types we're going to use. The creases that are closest to the ends are going to be just folded over. So we're not adding any additional creases to those. But if you look at the crease pattern, the, starting at the next crease, so the second one from the edge, we have this one closest to it, and then the second one, that is going to have this pattern of creases on it. And then when we move to the crease that's to the right of that one, we're going to use this pattern. 
And then we're just going to alternate between those two. So we'll move to the next one and use this pattern. And then the next one back to this pattern and just continue alternating all the way down until we reach the end. Now, if you look at the crease pattern, that should help it all make sense. We're gonna be starting on this end on the left. Again, this first crease will just end up being folded over. So we're starting with the crease that's after that. You can see, just made these three creases. It's easier to see it from the other side where they're mountain folds. And we're going to move on to the next crease and fold the one that's a little off center. So that's the pattern of creases that we just made. And then we're just going to continue doing that all the way to the end. Now I have all of these creases formed and we can start to collapse everything. So first we need to fold over the outermost creases. 
Then we'll also fold over these two outermost creases. Then we're gonna pick this up and we'll be starting on this end. Flip it over and we'll start by collapsing this first bend. This is the one that's in the center. And then as we collapse this, we need to look at the next bend. And we can see that this is the off-centered one. We have the three creases up top here and the solo crease down on the bottom. So that means that this layer that's on the bottom is going to need to go over the top. So I'll show you what I mean. The layer that just has that single crease needs to be on top of the other layer. And we're gonna move on to the next bend. This is one of those off-center bends. So it's a little bit more difficult to collapse, but hopefully you got some practice with the previous video. And then we need to just make sure this layer stays on the outside. Then we're not going to tuck this paper in yet. We're going to wait until the very end to tuck all of those in because as we fold, each of these bends will come undone a little bit and we just need to fix them as we make each new one. So we just move on to this next one. It's another one that's in the center, so it's a bit easier to collapse. And then the next one. Then just continue moving down, just collapsing each bend. And now for this bend, we're going to make the bend and then we're going to roll the paper up and stick it through this hole right here. So we'll make the bend first. And then flatten the paper and just roll it a little bit and poke it through this hole. And as you do that, you might have some of your other creases come undone like I just did, but they should be fairly easy to pop back into place. And 
then we'll just continue collapsing from there. Now we have each of the bends collapsed. So we're going to tuck these ends into the pockets. So if we look at one end of the paper, we're going to take the layer that's underneath and we're going to tuck it into the pocket that's above it. Then find the other end of the paper and do the same thing. Next, we're going to take this end of the paper that has this shorter section and we're going to insert it into this hole right here with the longer section. To do this, you might need to press in on the sides. Then just slide it in there and slide the paper all the way down. Now that that's all locked in place, we need to go to each of these bends and tuck the paper in. This is much easier to do with some tweezers. Just tuck the paper behind and then move on to the next one. doing this with each of those bends. And now our trefoil knot is complete. I hope you were able to make it through till the end and I hope yours looks awesome. And make sure to leave a comment down below if you liked this video and give it a thumbs up. Also, I do post new origami videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any. And then I will see you in my next video.